volition, accretion, subduction, and rifting processes through geologic time have led to the present-day organization of the Philippine Islands. The Philippine archipelago is bounded by two oppositely dipping subduction zone systems. The western margin subducts eastward, and the eastern margin dips westward. Excess stress generated from subduction along the trench systems are assisted by the left lateral north-south trending Philippine fault system which cuts across the entire archipelago. In this video, we focus on the beautiful islands of Western Visayas. The Western Visayas is composed of the four provinces of Panay, the Guimaras Island, and the western portion of the island of Negros. Panay is an island in the group of islands located in the western part of central Philippines and is about 300 kilometers southeast of Manila. There are four provinces within the island, namely Iloilo, Capiz, Aklan, and Antique. The geology of the islands of Panay in central Philippines provide a record of the collision event between the Philippine Mobile Belt and the North Palawan Block due to the Eocene opening of the South China Sea. The western part of Panay is dominated by a high-rising chain of mountains called the Western Cordillera. The eastern side is composed of smooth hills called the Eastern Cordillera. And on the central part of Panay is the Iloilo Basin. According to Santos, in 1968, the structural development of Panay closely follows the geosynclinal theory of sedimentary basins. Due to an intense compression, Cracks develop and deform the layers into mountains, creating a geosyncline region in the middle. The region is then filled with sediments for over millions of years as the mountains erode. Panay Island is divided into four terrains. The eastern volcanic terrain, the Iloilo Basin, the western range, and the Burwanga Peninsula. Manifestation of the collision outcrops along western Panay is found starting from the Burwanga Peninsula in the north and southward towards the Antique mountain range. One of the formations along Burwanga Peninsula is the Burwanga Metamorphic Complex. According to Francisco, in 1956, the Burwanga Metamorphic Complex is the oldest formation in Panay Island. It is characterized by thick and highly folded sequences of green shears Cherts, quartzites, marbles, and metavolcanics. One of the formations in the Antique Range or the Western Range is the Antique Ophiolite. The Ophiolite is located mainly in the central part of the Antique Province and underlies largely the Lombohero Ridge. The Antique Ophiolite is characterized by ultramafic rock, gabbro, sheeted dikes, basalt, and associated pelagic sedimentary rocks. The Kabatuan Formation is one of the formations existing in the Iloilo Basin. The Kabatuan Formation consists of nearly flat-lying rocks in the central part of the Iloilo Basin. It is divided into three members, the Balik Clay or renamed as the Balik Mudstone Member, the Maragat Sandstone, and the Santa Barbara Silt. Under the Eastern Volcanic Terrain or the Eastern Panay is the Sibala Formation. The Sibala Formation was named by Capistrano and Magpantay in 1958 for the volcanic and sedimentary rocks that crop out at the Sibala Hills, eastern Iloilo. The formation is a sequence of basaltic to andesitic lava flows with interbeds of coarse, pyroclastic rocks and fine tooth and sandstone. Guimaras is an island province in the Philippines located in the region of Western Visayas. It is located southwest of Panay and is separated from Iloilo by the Iloilo Strait. Based on regional tectonic setting, Guimaras Island could experience earthquakes related to subduction along the Sulu Sea Trench and Antica Trough dipping east. There are five main types of rock formation occurring in the island. The Quarterly Alluvium, Buena Vista Limestone, Jordan Formation, Guimaras Diorite, and Mount Pandan Volcanics. 
Geologists have concluded that the island was once part of Panay. Negros Island. It is located in the southern Visayan region of the Philippines. The basement rocks of Negros is composed of basalt formation and intruded by the Pangatban diorite. The outermost part of it is the Canlaon volcanic complex that is made up of basalt, andesite, and dacite. It is believed that Negros was once part of a greater mass of land, but was cut off by rising water during the Ice Age.